my first stop towards um, Italy. My first stop in a, in a tiny house like this one. And I have a mission today. Or now that I am getting better at long distance solo traveling with my motorcycle and getting better at packing, getting better at um, organizing my stuff, I still have a lot of room to grow. And one of it is the organization of my bags. Look at this. It's a mess, right? Yeah, everything on the floor because every time I need to get something out of the big bag or any bag really, I have to like rifle through the whole thing and then it's easier to just get the whole thing dumped on the floor and then be like, okay, that's my underwear, that's my shirt, that's uh, my pants and then I can get that part. So my mission today, since I'm not too far away from a bigger city and I'm all already planning to um, get lunch there anyway, I'll get to a motorcycle uh, gear shop kind of thing and then I will buy little little bags that I can separate my stuff. I see, I've seen they have them in colorful arrangements so that's also good because all my stuff is black so it actually makes it even harder to find stuff. So I'm getting those little bags, they're cheap and then I can roll them up and organize my stuff into different things. That's the mission. Um, after chilling here for a minute or two, getting a coffee, um, reading a chapter, which I already started. So yeah, that's my mission to go there and organize my stuff. And look at this, this gorgeous view. Cool. So that's the mission for now and then we're going to continue down south. So today is going to be the last day that I will be in Germany. Tomorrow I will be heading off to Switzerland, but uh, I'll be checking in back from my Airbnb tomorrow. Welcome to the vlogging life and um, this idiot has forgotten to turn on the receiver for the mic. So now I filmed and talked beautifully I might add to you but uh, yeah the sound was shit. So I'm trying that again. Um, let's see so my mission yesterday uh, was very simple just to get to a store and get some bags to organize my bigger bag and I did that and it works nicely now I have three different colored bags but now to the whoop, now to the juicy part I ran into a major trouble yesterday morning I was on my way to Nuremberg my, my lunch spot and not two minutes out of the Airbnb door I couldn't shift down anymore and keen viewers and long time long time people who have followed my couple trips so far have or will notice now wait a minute you had that gear shifting down problem last year and they fixed it by exchanging a part, right? During winter storage. Yes, correct. You are correct. Well done. Now, not two weeks after I picked up my bike from the mechanic, 
with the clutch problem that they fix another part it's the same box area where everything is in and it's a different part but still it's the same area it's broken again and uh, according to reddit it's a known issue with the Bonneville series that this gear shifting uh, part is not very good I think they need to fix that or at least do something about it because now it's the second time and I've, I've read because I had time yesterday that there are multiple people with that same issue and they happen very frequently anyway that doesn't matter my current situation is as follows so I managed to get to a Triumph dealership with a mechanic uh, in Nuremberg where my lunch spot was like barely again I was in the fifth gear I had no way to shift down I tried for 10 or 15 minutes sometimes it works but yeah most of the time it does not work and just imagine you're standing at the light in the fifth gear and then you have to accelerate and get that machine rolling or you otherwise have to push it but I managed and let me tell you it's not fun to ride through a city in the fifth gear because <laughs> you can't ride that fast in a city but I managed to get to the dealership to, the, to make, give it to the mechanics. They were so nice to me there. Uh, they didn't have the part yet, but they opened it up immediately. They checked for it. They were so good. And um, they, gave, they even gave me a rental bike uh, so I can ride around still. So I was able to uh, finish my mission and get to the store and also get to my Airbnb right here. So. I am now on a rental bike, but I will go back today and ideally the express delivery was there and my part that they ordered is uh, available and ready to go and then hopefully, hopefully I can swap the bikes again and then continue my trip. That would be no problem. Um, I don't have a too far away destination today. Worst case, the part will arrive tomorrow, which still would be manageable. So I still, then I would just um, miss one stop, but, and have a, one long day of riding to get to the next stop. Um, but it's manageable. I planned not too far destinations and stops, so that probably will come in handy. But let's just hope the part will arrive today and they are fast and can exchange that so I can swap the bikes and then continue on forward. Um, it's in the morning, I'm rambling and based off my beginning with even not thinking about the microphone, they, this Airbnb, the nice little Airbnb that I'm at, you know, prepared hot water and everything they don't have coffee or tea or anything so I thought it's like a standard and I was too beat yesterday evening to go to a supermarket to prepare for myself so I need to get a little bit of like basics for for mornings ready so <clears throat> but I don't have it right now so no problem I'll just uh, get to a coffee shop and uh, then tackle that day so I will let you know how and if I'll be able to continue forward um, today if not hopefully tomorrow so I'll keep you updated and uh, speak soon